Today I'm going to be taking a look at a Yamaha R5 receiver. The problem is no output whatsoever. I've so I think this is the connector here that carries the voltage to the um, power amp. And I think I'm supposed to read 5 volts and 12 volts. DC quarter, there's the 12 volts, and there's the actual 5 volts. So I know I'm getting that, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight to the power output transistors and check them with my um, transistor checker or the diode function here of this fluke so I've actually uh, got my transistor hooked up to the there's actually a total of four output transistors and what I did is I I couldn't get on with my connectors here I couldn't get on really good so I just removed the solder from each of these uh, so there's a total of, since there's four, four trans, power output transistors, I removed solder from 12 pins. That went really fast. Of course, I didn't have the power on, and I don't have the power on now either. In fact, I have the whole unit um, disconnected. And here's what I'm reading. It says it's bad. So that's one. And now I'm going to try the next one. So here's the connector so hooked up next power output transistor. And here's my actual reading. The tra leader transistor checker shows me as bad. This thing is actually pretty good to use. It didn't cost me very much. I, I think I paid around 20 or 25 dollars. I'm not even sure. Um, and it's been well worth it. So now I'm going to check the last two transistors. So I actually managed to check out the power output transistors of the other channel and it actually they actually checked out good. In fact with the power output transistors removed from the bad channel when I go ahead and turn the power switch on I can actually hear the relay clicking now and also I have a set of headphones hooked up to the uh, headphone input and I just heard it click right now so that's okay so what I'm going to do is still continue checking around here and see what else I can find that's bad any components that are close to the power output transistors like for example one of the resistors was open and it was also discolored I could see that it was getting hot and I actually noticed that only one of the transistors was bad the other one was good but I'm going to go ahead and replace both of them in in pairs I'm going to get them a basically a matching pair and a driver transistor went out too I guess it was like collateral damage or like a domino effect and even when I put the new transistors in here I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, check all the resistances here to to ground and see how they compare with the ones on the other side before I actually power this thing up and here are two of the output transistors from the component side looks like we got thermal paste smeared around here everywhere So my next task is to clean this area up here. The mica insulators are still on there. So what I'm going to do is clean this up as good as I can with alcohol using cotton swab and then try to pull them off without breaking them and then clean it underneath it and on, on the other side of the mica insulator because I'm going to go ahead and be applying the, the thermal paste is going to go on both sides of this. So 
I'm going to try to do it without breaking them. They break, they actually break pretty easily. 